Hi there, thanks for joining me again. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I've been messing about with a, with an antenna, which is uh, tuned for three bands. It's an NFED half wave for 40, 20 and 10 meters. Just in case you're not familiar with it, I'll put a couple of links up on the, uh, the screen in a moment for a couple of videos I've done. One was looking at the, the modeling and the design of it, and the other one was looking at the, the tune and the building. Now, in this video, what we're gonna be doing is looking at how well the antenna actually performed in the field. Now, the antenna itself, as we see from this particular diagram, is a vertical antenna uh, fed at the base with an NFED half-wave transformer. It could be a 49 to 1 or a 56 to 1. doesn't really matter, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, and the antenna then is goes up vertically. I'll be using it vert as a vertical on a 12-meter fiberglass pole. Uh, the, the bottom part is the largest part. In this case, just about 9.5 meters long or so. And that will be a half wave on 20 and a full wave on 10. And above that, then you've got a 35 microhenry coil. That acts as a choke on 20 and 10 and acts as a loading coil for the wire above that, which is for 40 meters. So it traps 20 and 10 and loads up 40 which means the antenna is a bit shorter than your normal 40 meter half wave. In fact, it's about 60% uh, the size roughly, but um, gives reasonably comparable for, uh, performance even for, 20, for 40 meters. So uh, let's have a look then at the, uh, the way that the antenna tuned up and also how well it performed in the field. But before that, let's see how she looked as I put her up on pretty windy conditions last week up at my favorite high spot, uh, I've been here in West Sussex. Here's the antenna out in the field then. I uh, went up to my local high spot, a nice windy afternoon for about an hour. I had the drive-on mast with the 12 meter fiberglass pole in the uh, drive-on mast there. The transformer was pretty low down, as you can see, about uh, maybe 20 centimeters off the ground. Then the wire went up, up the pole. Uh, that was the half wave up to the coil, as you can see there. A very windy day, uh, but thankfully the, the antenna stayed upright. The coil did its job and we got on the air. Let me show you first of all 40 meters. We'll look at the tuning and we'll look at some of the contacts we made. So I brought out the ICOM 7300 with me for a bit of a run out and used the bar graph SWR display there to show you. Now uh, what's noticeable here, in fact for all three bands, especially 40 and 10, is that the antenna went a bit longer. I think the close proximity to the bodywork of the car has got something to do with that. But there we are, we live and learn. Uh, so the actual dip on 40 meters, as we see here, is actually down around the FT8 frequency. Up at around the top end of the foam band here in Europe, we were getting around and above 2 to 1. So not a disaster. Uh, I had the inbuilt tuner and the 7300, of course, to cope with that. Uh, but that's lesson learned there. Uh, I think in the clear, it'll pr probably replicate to a great deal anyway. Uh, the uh, sort of SWR curve we had at home which meant that we had a dip at around 7.12, 7.13 uh, with the best match on 40 metres. But not to worry. Let's see the antenna in action anyway. I did a pretty good job. Uh, G5TM portable, TW4TUD, 5.9, uh, Tim. No problem at all. Thank you for the 5.9. Uh, Tim, you're on the air. Uh, Italy 8, Charlie calling. Mike 7, Charlie, you uniform whiskey. Thank you so much for the five and nine. You're also five and nine. Thank you for the park as well. India with C5, Alfa Romeo Silo. Okay, so into the 59, uh, start for you. Dolphin, DS7, Fox Trot, what time is it? Hi, Roger, Roger, you're five and nine, five and nine, Tim. Mike, zero, Fox Trot, Alfa Radio. So I'm getting you five nine from Street Hampshire. Back to you. As you can see, most of the contacts there were, as you'd expect, for about five, six o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, were around uh, the UK from here, in the UK, of course, into Europe. Now, on 20 metres, uh, the antenna, of course, works as a full-sized half wave. This is the band it really does shine on. And again, if we look at the tuning here, we can see the SWR, pretty good match across the band, to be perfectly honest. Again, like 40 metres, uh, the dip actually moved uh, sort of lower in frequency, but nothing that stopped us from using it at all. And the antenna did a pretty good job. And again, here's a few snippets of some of the contacts we made on 20 meters. Oscar Kilo 2, Alpha Sierra Uniform. Uh, Roger, Roger. Report for you is 59 also. Delta, Delta 3, Zulu Tango. Oh, George, thank you very much for calling that support here. 20 day over 9. Park to park, park to park. Okay, who's the park to park, please? Lima, Bravo, Zero, Fox India, park to park. Hey, Mort, Lima, Bravo, Zero, Fox India, you're 59, Mort. And you're also 5 and 9 in the November after. Now, finally, 10 meters. So the antenna works as a, a full wave on 10 meters. We can see here on the tuning, 
what our SWR curve was like. Now, again, not as good a match as we had at home, but again, perfectly usable. And uh, again, you can engage a tuner if you wish. Usually, I think if you put the antenna away from the bodywork of the vehicle, then you'd get a better match. So, and again, more lessons learned there, but no problems at all. 10 meters itself was very quiet, but I'm glad to say I did manage to make a couple of DX contacts, uh, one of which I captured on camera, and here it is. Germany 5, Tango, Mike, portable. Uh, Germany 5, Tango. Germany 5, Tango, Mike. Germany 5, Tango, Mexico 5, United. So overall, what do I think about the antenna? Well, it's got plenty of pros. Uh, you've got very little space needed to, to use it. So on 40 meters especially, that's really useful. You don't require any elevated or ground radials to, to work the antenna. Yes, I know the outer shield of the coax operates as a, as a radial as such, but it's not something that you need to worry about too much with 100 watts or less. So a portable antenna, for example, small space antenna at home, good options for you. Uh, but you don't need a system of radials. Um, it'll be stronger and better than, say, a mobile whip would be on 40 metres, much better than that. You will need, in this particular design, a 12 metre fibreglass pole, so that's something to bear in mind. You could use it as a sloper, of course. You could run it at a lower height and run it as a sloper. Could be an option. Definitely one to keep in the armoury. Definitely one to bring out from time to time and use. And I'm very, very pleased with the way the antenna works. Listen, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. You can subscribe to the channel there. You can click on up there for another video. Thanks for joining me. Good luck with your portable activities and drop a few comments down below if you want to explain what you think about the antenna design and what you've been doing to work portable, especially when using 40 metres. All the best to you. Catch you again from the south coast of the UK. Bye for now.